What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, giving you the full breakdown for the up and coming week. This week sees the return of Iron Banner into Destiny 2. We also have three incredible exotics available from the exotic mission, the featured raid and the featured dungeon. On top of that, we have a full breakdown of all the weekly rituals, lost sectors and seasonal challenges. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. We are so close to 185,000 subscribers. So make sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to ensure you don't miss an update. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Another week and another this week in Destiny. This is week eight of Season of the Witch. And with that, we see the return of Iron Banner into Destiny 2. Iron Banner returns with control this time, but it's another opportunity to earn the companion armor set, the reprised Iron Banner armor set from Destiny 1, on top of two legacy returning weapons. This comes in the form of the point of the stag bow and a guided sight scout rifle. As always, each and every season, there's also a brand new Iron Banner emblem and shader to pick up. So if you haven't earned them just yet in season 22, then this week will be the week to have another chance of picking those up. Now from here, we're going to move on to the exotic mission rotator for week eight. This week, we see the Vox Obscura mission return from the Witch Queen. And you'll need to either own that expansion or season of the Risen in order to run this activity. Inside this activity though, you'll find the Dead Messenger exotic grenade launcher, which is now craftable and has also been introduced with an additional trait. As well as that exotic, you also have armor and weapons from Season of the Risen, including the explosive personality, the recurrent impact, the under your skin, the sweet sorrow, thoughtless, peace of mind, alongside the tusked allegiance armor set. Now to craft the weapons from Season of the Risen, you do only need three weapon patterns. So if you are missing any weapons from this particular season, especially if you're looking to craft them, then make sure to jump into Vox Obscura this week. Now next up, we're going to move on to the featured raid and dungeon content for week eight. This week sees the last wish return as the featured raid. Now the last wish has some pretty incredible raid weapons, all of which are now craftable. And as the featured raid, all the challenges are available too, which is perfect if you're still looking to pick up the Riven's Bane seal. On top of being able to complete all those challenges and farm encounters for weapon patterns, you'll also be able to farm a Riven, the keys, which will allow you to open as many chests as you like when completing the Queen's Walk, which creates the perfect opportunity to pick up the 1000 Voices Exotic Fusion Rifle. It's still an incredibly strong weapon. So if you haven't picked up the 1000 Voices, then this week could be the week to get your hands on it. Now, as for the featured dungeon, Spire of the Watcher returns. Now, the Spire of the Watcher has some very unique weapons and armor, especially if you're a big fan of cowboys. That aside, much like the Last Wish, this also has an incredible exotic that you definitely want to add to your arsenal. That comes in the form of the Hierarchy of Needs, the Exotic Bow. This is incredibly strong, fantastic for endgame content like Grandmaster Nightfalls, for example. And as the featured dungeon, you'll be able to farm the final boss. So if you are missing any of the exotics from either the exotic mission, the featured raid or the dungeon, then make sure to cross those off your list upon this week's weekly reset. Now next up we're going to move on to Dares of Eternity and the 30th Anniversary Pack Activity. Alongside the Scatterhorn armor set we see the return of the Wild Hunt armor set from Season of the Hunt. Naturally with that armor in rotation we do also see Season of the Hunt weapons as well including the Arsenic Bite Bow, the Blaster 2, Corsair's Wrath, the infamous Deafening Whisper, Dire Promise, Enigma's Draw, Escape Velocity, the GN7 Rifle, Rule Chase, The True Prophecy, Friction Fire, and The Timeline's Vertex. Naturally, if you're still filling out your Transmog collection, then the armor can drop during the course of the activity or upon activity completion. And if you're still looking for good rolls on these weapons, none of these of which are craftable, then make sure to jump into Dares upon this week's weekly reset. Now from here, we're going to move on to the weekly rituals. And this week sees the return of the heist at Battleground over on the moon as the Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall for the week. Now in Season of the Witch, we have three heist Battlegrounds and all of them offer very worthy challenges. If you can overcome the challenge this week though, you'll be able to pick up the Braytek Osprey, which is the exclusive Nightfall weapon for the week. Now if you and your team can pull off a Platinum Medal on Grandmaster though, then this is a guaranteed reward. And to pick up a Platinum Medal, you simply need to take out each and every champion. 
So whether you're ticking off all the boxes to earn your Conqueror or Guild it, or you just want to pick up the Braytic Osprey this week, then make sure to form those fire teams to get those Nightfalls done. Now moving over to the Crucible, this week sees the return of Supremacy alongside Mayhem as featured Crucible activities. Now with Mayhem in rotation, it's a perfect chance to get some vendor rank ups. So if you are still working towards leveling up and resetting Lord Shacks over in the tower, the Mayhem games can be over extremely fast and it's a great way to earn a mass amount of XP. So whether you're looking to earn some extra Crucible loot or even the ritual weapon for the season, then make sure to jump into Crucible this week via one of the featured Crucible modes. Now, just as a quick reminder though, because Iron Banner is in rotation this week, there will be no trolls of Osiris until the launch of Festival of the Lost, which is expected to launch on the 17th of October. And we'll have a video later this week covering all the details on the up and coming Festival of the Lost event. Now from here we're going to move on to the Lost Sector calendar for week 8 of season 22 and this week kicks off over in the K1 crew quarters for a chance at exotic helmets. As for Wednesday you can head over to the Concealed Void for a shot at exotic boots with the Bunker E15 being in rotation on Thursday and offering exotic gauntlets. As for Friday the Bay of Drowned Wishes is back over on the Dreaming City for a chance at exotic chess pieces with the Velis Labyrinth being available on Saturday for another chance at exotic helmets alongside the Exodus Garden 2A on Sunday offering a shot at exotic boots. And to round out the week on Monday you can head over to Sepulcher for another chance at exotic gauntlets. So as always if you still are picking up the gauntlets that are exclusive to legend and master lost sectors then be sure to plan your week accordingly and if you want to check out this calendar in full for yourself make sure to do so over in today in destiny and i'll leave the link to that down in the video description below now to round us out for the week we're going to head over to the seasonal challenges and there are seven seasonal challenges for week eight the first is called filamentary magic and he needs to defeat targets with strand arc or solar supers and you'll earn bonus progress for defeating guardians that's alongside Ponderous Orbs, so he needs to generate orbs of power and find any of the hidden chests in Savathun's Spire. That's followed by Precision Paraphysics, so he needs to defeat targets with bows or hand cannons and you'll earn bonus progress by defeating Guardians or by defeating combatants in Season of the Witch activities. That's followed by Punch Drunk, so he needs to get Powered Melee Final Blows in Ritual Playlists. That's followed by Flourish of Power. And for this, you need to defeat Guardians in Mayhem with your super abilities. Now, the penultimate challenge this week is called Boss Battle. And you'll need to defeat bosses in Strikes or via the Vanguard playlists. And the final challenge for week 8 is called Kinetic Forces. And you'll need to get final blows with kinetic weapons with bonus progress being granted for defeating Guardians. Now all these challenges offer Challenger XP if you're still leveling up your Season Pass or even unlocking your Artifact Mods. And some offer Bright Dust which is perfect if you intend on visiting Tess upon this week's weekly reset. So there we have it guys, a good look on everything that you can expect for week 8 of Season of the Witch. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump into the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.